I told everybody I was going to do things just a little bit differently as regards to using uh, websites and their verbiage off the page here. So I'm using pictures a little bit just in case they decide to pass this TPP on us and it changes up everything about the way we, we present stories right here. So I just got a couple stories and we're going to run down and a few other very important things I want to share with you. One of them being out of Germany and the other one out of Oregon. Uh, bomb boy, Mohammed. Yes, the family uh, met with the president at the White House and less than 24 hours later had come out publicly and stated that they were moving to Qatar, that they were accepting an offer by Qatar to for their son to come over to this uh, science education uh, workshop program that they have over there. And they stated that they will be leaving the United States. You know, Donald Trump gave a uh, public statement uh, when he said that, uh, you know, Obama could be signing an executive order sometime soon and coming after uh, the guns of uh, American citizens. Well, Josh Ernest came out and stated that that wasn't true, stated that, yes, uh, Obama is contemplating executive order for tighter gun control, but that he would not be coming after the Second Amendment of law abiding American citizens. Yeah, kind of like uh, how he said that you could keep your doctor and keep your own insurance plan if you wanted to. You know, didn't he say that? Yeah, I don't believe anything that they have to say. So just thought I'd share that with you, that he did say that Obama is contemplating doing that. This guy right here thought he was a Billy badass attacking a woman in New Jersey, right? His friends were cheering him on and filming him as he was sitting there taunting a homeless woman in New Jersey. He hauls back and hits her and knocks her out. Well, they did finally find this guy. He ended up in jail. And surprisingly, uh, this guy attempted to attack a cop in the jail for doing their normal search that they do when they uh, bring them into jail. And, well, the cop uh, busted his face on the ground. So, well, I seriously doubt that he even attacked the cop. But, hey, who am I to argue? All the talk about Biden maybe entering the race, is he, is he not? I really don't care because I don't pay attention to these dimwits. I already know exactly how, uh, you know, the elections roll. I know exactly how they work. So it doesn't really matter to me because I don't have any say. We know who has a say about who gets into office, right? Well, Joe Biden has set the record straight today, or at least that's what he says, that he will not be running for office for 2016. One of the sites that I used to check on regularly because uh, they tend to uh, post up a lot of different stories from all over alternative and social media. And so I, I go there because that's where I can find a, a whole slew of these stories rather than having to go a lot of other different places. Well, that's no longer going to happen. Truth in action, right, really has me uh, dumbfounded here with their, their logic here. They have two stories here. Now, it's not necessarily this story has anything to do with my whole main story that I want to share with you. Just I want to prove a point with this story here. That Hold on one second. So they go on to state that, you know, the United States, the nation, is going through a, you know, a police state phase. It's like uh, they are really pushing a heavy, heavy uh, police state upon the American people. And they go on in here to state just that very fact with this story out of California. Uh, the Armed Prohibited Persons System, APPS, all about setting up a unit to strictly go after gun confiscation of people who are deemed to be a danger to themselves or to others. And they state right here, State of California has moved one step closer to the leading edge of American police state through the newly created, right, APPS. Well, I don't, can't figure out exactly uh, what do they expect if you're going to report the story. What do you think people should do about it? Do you think that they should make a statement? Do you think that they should step up and maybe be active? And, uh, you know, combating this police state that they're trying to push? How would you go about doing that? See, just reporting the story doesn't mean nothing, right? I know a lot of people have asked me, well, Professor Doom, what do you suggest we do? I have made plenty of suggestions, and one of them was this. Interestingly enough, Hardee's denies cops service. Hardee's has not been the only one that's done this. Arby's and quite a few other instances 
have done this where they are getting sick and tired of the out of control cops and the good cops that are not stepping up and internally policing their own bad apples. So these people are taking it upon themselves to make a statement. We are not going to serve you. I will not have anything to do with serving you. You go somewhere else. So the cops are complaining about it, right? So what does truth in action say, right? Obviously, they don't want you to do anything about anything, right? Truth in Action have been reporting on the scourge of these refusals all over the country. It seems as if this coordinated effort, and it could, it would behoove us to attempt to prove if a activist group is promoting this behavior in some way over social media that is private. Really? So, <laughs> if one person happens to see a news story of somewhere else in the nation how they have refused the cop service and they work in this same kind of environment going, you know what? That's a freaking great idea, man. I wish I would have thought of it instead of me just spitting on their hamburger or something of that nature, right? So really, does it really got to take private in social media to to even rise up to make a statement like these people who are in the fast food business who are doing oh, well fast not saying they're in the business because these are just employees of the corporate body but anyway what bothered me is is that truth in action is calling this a scourge people that are actually stepping up and taking action and trying to make a statement with these cops that you know what you guys need to clean up your own homes you guys need to clean up the, the bad guys or, you know, you guys are all going to face it. We don't want to have to deal with you. And I know a lot of people are out there stating that, well, you know, there are good cops and not all of them are bad. It doesn't matter. Because if the good cops don't want to say anything and are going to leave it to who? What? D Department of Justice? To the state? They've, these people have been getting free passes with murders, with uh, uh, false police reports, all kinds of different stuff, and nothing is being done. Right? Who is it going to fall upon? The American people, right? What the, the good cops, the good cops ain't saying anything. So what really bothers me is that truth in action is really going to condemn the actions of these people really trying to make a statement in this instance. Don't get it because that's exactly what I was talking about. We should be doing with like uh, the, the instance of uh, uh, the, the California incident. What's his name? The one who was beat to death, the homeless guy. Um, I can't remember the, his name off the top of my head, but I said, you know what you guys need to do is we need to find out where these cops go to eat their lunches or their meals or whatever. And they need those businesses need to be boycotted and stop them from serving cops if they're not going to start acting right. These cop these cops need to be put in. You know, they need to know that the people don't want to take this crap anymore because they can't rely on the state or the federal government to step in and do a thing about it, right? Wardo Rants had a pretty interesting video here. I'm not sure if you guys had saw this, and I did. I, I must have missed this part right here. Uh, October 15th, he put this out here, and he went to the college, and he was showing everybody the little memorial thing that they put up there, the little tribute pieces for the victims, alleged victims, I should say. But did you guys notice the construction that's been going on at the one building there for six months? And it's going to be, it's been going on for six months, folks, six months. And it's going to be the new building where all of the nursing uh, uh, training and uh, uh, all of that, that's where all the new nursing building is going to be. Is it coincidence that the old nursing building happened to be Snyder Hall, the Snyder Hall that had the alleged shooting take place i think it's not a coincidence but wardo rance i talk to him every day and he's going to be having some more interesting information coming up here i do believe i have him he's constantly asking me for some advice about how he should uh how we should go about certain things not go about it but my advice on where i think he should go to make his move you know what i mean where should he go check for information so I told him, why don't we go over and just start checking out the uh, the alleged shooter's mother and the alleged shooter at the apartment they lived in and find out if there's any neighbors that can actually verify their existence. So we're going to start there. Let's see how that works out here in the near future. I had told you guys that, uh, you know what, with the whole situation that came up with the EPA and the Gold King's Mine where they 
uh, spilled all those contaminants in the Animas and St. Juan River, there was some issues that came up with the Navajo Nation right there, how they were sent water via the, uh, the EPA, well, actually via these contaminated uh, tanks. Uh, the EPA is the one who uh, uh, facilitated that uh, delivery. And it came out that they were actually contaminated tanks with oil residues and stuff like that. I come out with the video stating that, well, when we have situations like that, what we could do is, is maybe all the channels could get together and join hands here. And anybody needing our help that we could be able to offer maybe some advert free advertising for some of these businesses if they help people. Well, this story right here that Kafka Winston World shared off of We Are Change is a very interesting story. And this may come into play. Yes, this guy right here, David Lantry, uh, who is now displaced from his home, where come check out the video and you'll see that he was shot several times. An incident took place at his house where these out of control cops, because he is a activist. That's right. He's a civil rights activist of, of a farmer, a, a rancher in Nevada, uh, live, was living on the tribal lands. And the cops came and tried to really do him a good one. Shot his dog all up a big shootout at his house where they were the ones bringing the fight due to his activism. And they actually put him in a federal holding facility under a different name. So people couldn't even locate him. So he has been found not guilty of that. And he is trying to uh, actually regain his life back to what he once had. If you look, he was shot several times in the stomach and chest area. Um, so, I am going to be reaching out to him once I get some uh, information back from We Are Change so I can make contact with Mr. Lantry. I've tried uh, my conventional ways that I usually go about doing it, and I was not able to do that. When I get that information, I will be seeking help from surrounding businesses where they're at now and see if we can get them a little help that way. And I hope that people will join me in uh, maybe doing uh, some collective community work to uh, advertise for some of those people that are willing to help them. Also, last but not least, I got some pretty interesting stuff going on here. Do you guys remember the video Dabu put out about a highly suspicious uh, shipment or well, I'm not even sure if it was exactly shipment now, but uh, these Saudi civil defense trucks were spotted on a Texas highway and he reported on this back June 12th earlier this year i came out with the video shortly after that because i was analyzing how all of the numbers here appeared um not the, the arabic numerals but i would call it the, the the standard numbers as we see 998 and then you saw right here 99 chevron so i kind of did a story about the whole chevron and the number eight because this is supposed to be like 911 for saudi arabia civil defense right okay so where exactly were these vehicles coming from? Where were they headed to? Were they manufactured right here? And were they going to be sent out via shipment to Saudi Arabia, right? Well, it's interesting because I have a contact in Germany who I cannot state his name. Okay, as you can see right here, these are one of those vehicles right here. And I'm, I'm actually going backwards because I was going to show you the other ones first. But this is a Saudi Arabia civil defense vehicle right here that's being shipped in via uh, in, intelligent. Uh, what's it called here? I'll get it for you right here. Uh, Doxer Intelligent Logistics, right? That's the name of it. And as you see right here, that's the one vehicle right there, right? Okay. As you can see, here's that 998-99V, and this was on the Autobahn in Germany. And when they were filming it, as, like I said, I went backwards because they went to go find out exactly how these, where these vehicles were coming from. And my contact in Germany had already has been following me for quite some time and had seen the video that I did and actually knew about the video that Dabu7 did. So he was very extremely intrigued 
that the same vehicles that we were presenting in our video as being on the roads in Texas are actually being seen driven down the Autobahn in Germany and wanted to know where they were coming from and actually got it on their site at Doxer that they're coming through logistic shipments into Germany from wherever they're coming from, right? So as you can see, here's the other one, a closer up, 998-99 Chevron. And there is a closer up of the exact one. You see, this is not being transported by vehicle, but these are driving on the roads in Germany. That's right. And all we're left now with is what exactly are they doing with them? What are they doing there? And if we get an idea of what they're doing there, does that give us more of an idea that they weren't exactly seen here in the United States as coming from a, a construction plant or, or, you know, a distribute, whatever the case may be? Or is it something else? I don't know. But I just thought I'd share this all with you, and I will leave you guys with all of this to marinate on. And thanks, everybody.